اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into how to use ChatGPT to help us with the review process. Let's say I have received a review for my paper. Let's say this is the review that I have received for my paper. Although this paper has already been accepted and I'll share the link in the description as well. Let's say I'm confused about a few things that has been asked. So how do I solve this issue? Or how do I get clear answers or how can ChatGPT help me find answers to the questions that are posted by the reviewers? Now, I'll briefly go through what or how to respond to reviewers as well, but there is a video on the channel as well. So again, I'll first put your title, the manuscript ID and then thank the reviewers for their time and effort. Reviewer 1. So what did reviewer 1 say? and then their general, general comments. Now, however, the paper will benefit from revising on the following points. So they did give us some points. Again, we thank the reviewer. So reviewer one points. What are the points by the reviewer one? Let's have a look. In general, the paper is based on the current literature on private sector organizations, a CSR and its organizational outcome performances. However, it is obvious that higher educational institutions as a non-profit organization will drastically different or will differ from the cases of corporate sector for profit organizations. Authors must address the differences what they are based on these literature for their model and hypothesis building. So here the reviewer wants a bit more detail as to how corporate CSR will differ from CSR in non-profit organizations. Now, let's say I want to build my argument and I want to improve my argument. So I asked ChatGPT maybe to give me some more arguments as to how the influence of CSR differs between the two type of organizations. Now, again, it will give you an initial idea. You need to work further on this idea. Go to research papers, existing research studies and find arguments as to how it could be different. Do not just use chat GPT as is. This will get your paper rejected because unless or until you understand how an argument is built, you will not be able to get your paper accepted. Use chat GPT as an assistant and not as something that does ghost writing for you. So let's say I ask chat GPT. How is social responsibility impact on organizational performance different in corporate sector and public or let's say not for profit organizations so let me correct any spelling mistakes so it is giving us those details as to how the impact of social responsibility on organizational performance is different between these two type of organizations. Let me just go through one of the arguments. So okay, not for profit organizations in terms of stakeholder ex expectations, stakeholders in not for profit organizations, including donors, volunteers, beneficiaries, and the general public often have a stronger expectation of social responsibility. These organizations rely on public trust and support and their impact on society is directly tied to the mission or to their mission fulfillment. Social responsibility initiatives play a crucial role in attracting funding, maintaining trust. And this is how you can say that in terms of stakeholder expectations, how not-for-profit organizations differ from profit organizations. Now, this is how the corporate sector is and this is how not-for-profit organizations are. Further, you can read the other arguments as well. But the problem here is that you do not have any reference. Can you provide the... Let me ask one more thing first. Let's say, can you be specific with the comparison and also provide some references both in text and end text. Now, again, the references provided by ChatGPT cannot be trusted. 
So what you do is those references that are provided by ChatGPT, you have to go back to Google Scholar or whatever database you use, check for them for whether they are not, whether they are authentic or not. Now, if they are not authentic, there are ways to find proper reference for these arguments. What you need to do is again go to Google Scholar or any other software like maybe uh, Mendeley or QDA Minor Lite. Now, I will do some videos on how to use ChatGPT with those softwares as well. But there is a video on the channel on how to use ChatGPT with Google Scholar to solve this made up references issue. Now, this is how your the differences are so it is a very specific difference with regards to how csr can influence organizational performance between these two organizations you can further probe probe chat gpt and ask chat gpt can it be a bit more detailed now let's go down and let's see if we can find any other thing that uh, interests us now obviously chat gpt won't provide you with all these details you have to read, use it as an assistant to get a guideline. Now to incorporate these comments in every single part of your literature review, you will need much more effort than just chat GPT. You will need to read some papers. Now moving on. The very basic theoretical model of the paper proposes that USR affects university performance and to support the proposition, the paper refers to CSR's performance effects mainly based on corresponding consumer behavior. However, the consumer of university education, that is the students and indirectly corporate sector and the other sector, sectors in the society must be different from corporate sectors consumer. So how USR will impact the students as a consumer, not the general consumer. So you cannot use the same literature that you use for CSR and consumer. So when doing such research where you are using a concept from one field into another field, try to be as specific as possible to that field. Now you can use ChatGPT to develop an argument here as well. So find out how social responsibility can affect students as a consumer. Moving on, let's see some other examples here. And all hypotheses in the paper should address this issue that is uniqueness of HEIs as a non for profit organization. So whenever you're proposing your hypothesis, what you need to do is you need to find out how social responsibility is unique for not for profit organization. So let's say how service quality and its impact on performance is unique or rather is different in education sector in comparison to profit based organizations. So let's see what we get. And similarly, you can ask ChatGPT to provide a reference for the arguments as well. Now here it is. So use these arguments, but again, I cannot emphasize enough and I'll keep emphasizing it as I go along during this use of ChatGPT for my channel. Make sure you read. There is no alternative to reading. Moving on. Let's do another one quickly. In terms of comparative study, the general introduction of or to USR in China and Pakistan is required at the literature review as to how what and why usr has been adopted or implemented so now you need to compare usr between china and pakistan so let's say i copy this comment and ask chat gpt for it let's paste it here how can there be a, a comparison now it's giving responses with regards to CSR as well. So you can ask ChatGPT to be very specific with regards to university social responsibility. Probe it further. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to help you with your review process. Thank you very much.